Here's a quick backstory and then we'll get right into it. So in my web app, youraiagent.com, which is an AI and automation software, one of the AI agents allows you to generate articles for your website. One of the website platforms we connect to is wordpress.org. Now, unfortunately, when connecting through the wordpress.org REST API, we need to create application passwords for users with editor permissions. But even after doing that, a lot of my users were still getting this error message. Sorry, you are not allowed to create posts as this user. Very frustrating because sometimes it works. For other users, it doesn't. I found it's maybe 50-50. And these users are not alone. This thread was published back on December 15th, 2017. And it still hasn't been fixed. Other people trying to connect through to the WordPress API were also getting this error message. Some people think it's a problem with the .ht access file. Some think it's a plugin issue. Whatever it actually is, I haven't been able to find a foolproof solution yet. But then an idea came to me. Let's get into it. I thought, why don't I take this to ChatGPT, the most powerful AI large language model on the internet, and see what it comes up with. Can we get a solution to this frustrating and annoying consistent problem? Let me walk through the conversation I had and hopefully this spurs some ideas for you and the problems that you're experiencing in your development, in your business, or in your personal life. So first off, I told ChatGPT that I have some users for my web app and they're trying to connect through to the API but they keep getting the error message you are not allowed to create posts as this user. I say the steps that I tell them to take, create a new user, assign them editor permissions, create an app password, and then put all those details into my bubble.io web app. I asked if there's an easier way to do this, so easy that it takes only a few seconds. Then I asked maybe a self-made plugin, maybe a way to generate an API key. What are your ideas? So first off, Create a custom WordPress plugin. So I actually really liked that idea, but I wanted to see what else it came up with. It said use an OAuth plugin. I didn't know these existed. Maybe I can search on the WordPress plugin store and find that. API key based authentication. I don't even know if the REST API uses API keys. The way I currently connect is through passing the username and the password in the URL of the API request. And according to the first time I read their docs, it seemed like this was the only way to do it. And then it talks about the application passwords, but with a custom manual workflow where I have to go in and do it manually. That didn't seem like the best approach, so I ignored number four. All right, I said I love those ideas, but this is the API call I'm currently making, and I didn't understand if an API key would work. And ChatGPT said, yes, you can do it. It's just a different way to make the API call. Instead of the username and password in the URL, you just put your WordPress URL and then you go authorization, bearer, and then your API key. You can also do it with an access token or keep doing it the old way, which I don't wanna do. So reading all of those options, I asked what is the simplest and most popular OAuth plugin or API key based plugins on the wordpress.org page. And it gave me a bunch of options, WP OAuth server, single sign-on, WordPress REST API authentication, mini orange OAuth single sign-on. So I went to the plugin page and I started searching for these plugins. I went OAuth, this seems to be the one by Mini Orange, number three of its suggestion. This is the WP OAuth one I recommended. I really like number two because it had a different name. I went into one of those plugins and I copy and pasted all the documentation. And I asked ChatGPT, is this the one you mentioned? It said yes, based on the description, it is the Mini Orange OAuth single sign-on plugin. So I asked, how does it work? Does it give me an API key? It walked me through installation, but then I had to choose OAuth2 custom token, and that's actually pretty complicated both for my users and for me setting it up. So I ignored this. I said step two might be a bit too difficult. How about the simple API key method? 
it told me to search for this plugin. So I did, but unfortunately this didn't exist. So I asked about number four, JWT authentication, and it walked me through those steps. But again, a bit too complicated. If my users wanted to do this, they would have to manually edit the wp-config.php file. Way too complicated. I want something simple, something fast, something easy. So again, it's telling me about a custom WordPress plugin. It's the easiest way, but requires development. So you know what? I thought, let's go for it. Let's see if ChatGPT can actually write me a plugin that will work with my web app and start connecting my users using an API key instead of an application password. I hope you're still with me because it's starting to get very exciting. So I say, let's go with the API key method. Step one, develop the plugin. ChatGPT wrote the code for me. So I copied this code and look, it's an entire PHP file, a decent length one as well. I opened up a new notepad document. I pasted it in and then I went file, save as, Instead of .txt, I changed it to all files and I named it API authentication.php. The next step was to compress it into a zip file. That's easy enough. And then go to upload plugin, choose file, and then choose that zip file. The next step was to make the new API call in bubble. So I did, and I followed the exact steps that it said in my conversation. And what's cool after installing this plugin, if I go to users and then I pick one of my users, I scroll all the way to the bottom and there's this new section that the plugin created called API key. So you copy this key and put it into your API call. So I tested and unfortunately I got the same error message. Sorry, you are not allowed to create posts as this user. It's the exact same issue as the application password. It gave me some troubleshooting tips. I told it that my user has administrator role, which according to the REST API, it needs to have admin or editor role. It's telling me that there could be a potential plugin conflict. There's no other plugins installed on my website, so I knew it wasn't this. Maybe it's a theme issue. I'm on the default theme, so that couldn't be it either. And it gave me some other troubleshooting tips. But then it was going down the wrong track. It wanted me to start editing the .ht access file again or wp-convig.php, things I did not want to do to begin with. I googled this issue and I pasted some results from the form, but it continued going down the wrong track. Now it wants to do base64 on code. No thank you, way too complicated. And then I started arguing with it. The point of me making a custom plugin was to avoid this all entirely. Why won't the API key method work? So I pushed it back on track. It thinks it might be an API key validation issue or user roles and permission issue. It wanted to change up some of the code of the PHP file. So I copied this. It's a new function called validate API key. I added it to the end of my code. I also added this code. It checks for user permissions in the plugin. Because I'm not familiar with .php coding language, I gave it all the code that it had me copy before, and I asked it to put it all together for me. So this was the final code. It's a little bit longer than it was before. I copied it, pasted it into my notepad, saved it, created a zip file, uploaded it to WordPress, and then I tried the API call again. Bingo, it worked. Super exciting. It made a brand new post, but when I tried to edit it, we got a blank page. So I said, amazing, it worked, but now I can't edit posts. This shouldn't have anything to do with the plugin, right? It told me to clear browser cache and cookies, then disable the plugin temporarily and try it again. So I disabled the plugin, then I clicked edit post, and it worked. So it was something in the plugin that was breaking the edit feature. I let ChatGPT know this. I said that deactivating the plugin allows me to edit posts. It said that this is unusual, but it may be interfering with admin requests unintentionally. 
So again, it wrote new code, some fixes to the old code, and I copied it, pasted it in the appropriate spot, saved it again, uploaded the plugin, tested the API call, went to edit posts, and it worked. When it finally does a good job, be sure to congratulate the AI. Remember, AI have feelings too. But I had one more question. What is the easiest way to get my users to install this plugin on their website? It gave me some ideas, which ended with this. So on the youraiagent.com settings page, click wordpress.org. And on this tab, I recommend trying the custom plugin plus API key method first. If that doesn't work, then try application password. To do that, click download plugin. It downloads the plugin to your computer. It's a zip file. On your WordPress dashboard, click plugins, add new plugin, upload plugin, choose file, choose that zip file, click install now, then activate plugin. It will show it down here. I called it your AI agent API key authentication. And with this activated, when you go to users and then clicking on one of the users, Make sure the role is either editor or admin. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and it opens up an API key section. So copy this key, paste it into the API key section right here for the name. This is what you want to call it within your AI agent.com. So I'm going to go my WordPress website and the website URL is the section right after HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and then before all the sub pages. So mine is bookgen.xyz. I'm gonna copy that and then paste it in here like so. Now I can click connect and if everything is all good, you'll see a notification that says your wordpress.org website is connected. It takes you back to the connections tab and then if you scroll down, you can see your newest connection right here. You can rename it or remove it altogether. In under 30 minutes, I had ChatGPT write an entire WordPress plugin for me to solve the most frustrating problem that has hindered connection to WordPress websites since I've started this app. I can't even imagine what else you can do with it. And I want to encourage you, if you have your own plugin idea, if you have your own app idea, see what ChatGPT4 Omni is capable of. Give it a shot, it might surprise you. If you wanna start running AI agents for your business or your personal life, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. There are lots of videos on my YouTube channel about all the different AI agents. Here is a quick list of them. If this interests you, I recommend checking it out. If the coding and development side interests you, I've designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.